So today I'm going to be making, well I already made, but I made a bath bomb, wait let me get it, a bath bomb, which smells amazing because I'm obsessed with bath bombs, but they're so expensive, you know, so I searched online on how to make it and here I am to show you how to make it and also some fun not just fun, but actual fun. The one from like, um, what's it called? Lush. This stuff is inspired by Lush. And, um, yeah. So let's just get into the video. <laughs> so the things that you'll need for the bath bomb are some bowls. It just depends on how many colors you want. I have three colors, or two actually, never mind. And then this is optional, but some Epsom salt. You can also exchange it for some like essential oils if you want. And then you're going to be needing some food coloring. Also, this is also optional. You don't need to color. And then you're going to be needing some cream of tartar. I'm not sure. I just said in the recipe. And then a mold. I just used an ice cube tray. And then I ended up using my cups. And then some baking soda. And I have this huge bag because, I don't know, my mom bought it. I don't know what she was thinking. But, yeah. And lastly, you're just going to be needing some coconut oil. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how much we achieve if you're a climber. So what you're going to do first is just put all your dry ingredients. And I will have all the measurements down below. But, yeah, you're just going to put all your dry ingredients together. And then you're going to mix it all together. So this part is optional, but I'm going to be splitting it into two parts because I'm making two colors with my bath bombs. You don't have to do this. If you don't want to do color, just skip this part. But if you do, just put your powder into as many colors, like into bowls, as many colors as you want. I don't know if that made any sense. So for this part, it didn't really work. Maybe I didn't put enough food coloring, but I saw someone do it before and it worked. So maybe you guys could try it, like trial and error, put more food coloring or something like that. But it didn't like really do anything to my mixture. So you can either skip this step, try it, or you can just do whatever you want. By the way, with color or no color, you need to still spray your mixture. And you need to do it a little at a time because you don't want to like activate it. I'm pretty sure that's what the word is. But yeah, just do it slowly. Be patient. You can stop once the texture of the mixture is like wet sand. Like it feels like wet sand and it'll just break apart. So next I'm going to be putting in my food coloring. Nothing too special. You know what to do. You just put it in and mix it. Okay, so once I had mixed the colors in, I'd realized that I forgot to put in the cornstarch. And you're supposed to put half a cup in, so you just like measure it and put half in each color or like split it up evenly. I totally forgot about this, so I'm like really sorry. Make sure to do it before I do this. Like, like don't do it at the same time as me because that's wrong. So now is the time to put your mixtures into the mold. It doesn't really matter what mold you use. It just matters what, like your mixture and everything. But make sure you press it down so it's like tightly packed in there. So I used an ice cube tray and then I ended up using like the things that I used to measure it. You can just do whatever you want. I even put some glitter in it because I wanted my bathtub to be glittery and nice. And you can just really do whatever you want. This is so customizable. That's what I love about bath bombs. You just do whatever you want. You can even put like little toys in there. I think that'd be really cool. So you can leave your bath bombs out for like 48 hours or you can put it in the freezer for a few hours and then they're good to go.
So I just dropped my bath bomb on the ground. You know, no big deal. It's That's gonna be such a hard thing to clean. Oh my gosh. So now you can just take your bath bombs out of the mold and they should hold together pretty well. Mine broke like a tiny bit, but I don't think that's like such a big deal. It's just me. Well, that worked so well. <laughs> what the heck? So for the fun, you're just going to need some liquid shampoo or soap and then some cornstarch. So you're just going to put one cup of cornstarch and one cup of the soap into your bowl. It doesn't necessarily have to be one cup. You can do like anything. It just needs to be like equal, you know. So um, yeah. And once you mix it in, it's going to be really sticky, but just keep working with it. It'll get more like doughy. You just see, you just keep playing with it and it'll become like that. So this part is optional if you don't want to color it, but I was just like putting a hole in it and then putting the food dye in and just working it in. And I split it up into four because I made four colors. Once you're done with that, you can literally play it with like it, what? What am I saying? You can play with it like it's Play-Doh. And here it's just rolling in together and I thought it looked like cotton candy and I put it into a heart shape and it's so fun to play with. Like I love playing with this. I was playing it for so long and you can just do whatever you want. It's so fun. And to use it, you just have to break off a piece and lather it with some water and you can use it as shampoo, soap, or like you can even take a bubble bath. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this video was helpful for you and thumbs this video up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!